Hello everyone, welcome back to Technique. Today we'll be doing yet another speed test comparison of two flagship devices. We have the newly launched Samsung Galaxy S24 Plus with us and we'll be doing the speed test with the iQ12 which was launched in December 2023. Now when iQ12 was launched, it was priced around uh, close to 50,000 rupees along with card offers and it was the best device with the Snapdragon 8 uh, Gen 3. It had pretty good set of cameras. You have uh, a really great hardware along with uh, the second chip from iQ. Now we have the S24 Plus with uh, again really powerful hardware. We have the Exynos 2400. It's comparable to the Snapdragon 8 uh, Gen 2 in terms of the performance and other aspects. Now if you look at the pricing, the Samsung Galaxy S24 Plus is priced way higher than the iQ12. So in this video, we'll be looking at uh, the speed test, the antidote score, the storage test, the Geekbench test and also the memory management test of these two devices. So let's begin. So before that if this is your first time on this channel do hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish so let's begin so now we have the two devices with us uh, the samsung galaxy s24 plus and we also have the iq12 so let's just take the about phone on both the phones uh, here we have uh, about device so fun touch os uh, android 14 and we have the super computing chip q1 and uh, this is the snapdragon 8 gen 3 with 16 gigs of ram and android 14 out of the box here we have uh, the samsung galaxy s24 plus with uh, uh, the exynos 2400 that's the chip and uh, we get uh, android 14 out of the box one ui 6.1 and uh, you also get uh, uh, 12 gigabyte ram on this uh, the Samsung Galaxy S24 Plus. So let's just clear off all the background apps. So there you go, we are just cleared off all the background apps and uh, let's see uh, the network settings. You can see here both are connected to the same Wi-Fi network and uh, both are in airplane mode. You can see here both are in airplane mode. Let's chart the speed test. Uh, so we have these 16 apps. So once again, let's clear off the background apps. So none of the apps are running in the background. Let's chart with Asphalt 9. So let's see which opens Asphalt 9 faster. So you can see here Samsung was a tad faster here uh, compared to uh, the iQ12. Next uh, is uh, the BGMI app. Let's see which opens BGMI faster. Here again you can see here Samsung has taken the lead. So once again Samsung opens is faster. Next is the Play Store. Here iQ is faster. Chrome browser. Once again, IQ is faster. Facebook, again, IQ is slightly faster, I would say. Twitter, uh, Samsung is faster. Instagram, again, a fraction of a second, IQ is faster. Spotify, uh, X at same time, I would say. Amazon, uh, Samsung is faster. Flipkart, again, IQ is slightly faster. File Manager, X at same time. Settings, Samsung is slightly faster. YouTube, once again, Samsung is faster. Gmail, again, Samsung is faster. Camera, Samsung looks faster. And Maps, uh, here again, IQ is faster. So what you could see is the optimization uh, of uh, S24 Plus. That's one UI looks very good, actually. Uh, it's, it's extremely responsive, actually. That's one of the good things when compared to the Funtouch OS. Uh, the app response time is really impressive on uh, the Samsung Galaxy S24 Plus. Now, uh, let's uh, see uh, the memory management of these two devices. So let's uh, open the apps in the reverse order. So let's see if all the apps are available in the memory. File Manager, Flipkart, Amazon, Spotify, So right now all the apps are available in the memory. Let's move on to the games. So once again uh, both the devices have games in the memory and uh, you can see uh, both have the games again. So uh, memory management is equally good on both the devices. Next let's uh, see the network speed. So let's see how they perform. So let's start with uh, uh, Samsung Galaxy S24 Plus.
so once again uh, exact same result we have got 165 and 173 so that's the uh, network speed let's go to the antidote benchmark score so this is where things change you can see here 17 lakh almost here we'll take this as 18 lakh and here we have 20 lakh 6 thousand uh, uh, 60,378 that's the IQ's benchmark score so let's the the individual scores uh, you can see here uh, CPU score is quite similar in fact uh, here we can see that uh, CPU score is slightly better here on uh, the Samsung while the GPU is way more powerful on uh, the IQ and uh, memory score and UX score is also higher on the IQ 12 so that was uh, the benchmark score so 18 lakh versus 20 lakh so next year uh, let's uh, see the storage test uh, so let's just test the two devices so again Iku has slight edge but not by a huge margin 1,62,000 1,64,000 and finally the Geekbench uh, result so let's just take the Geekbench uh, uh, values here in fact, a single core score is 2181, 2191. Uh, surprisingly, the multi core score is uh, higher on the Samsung Galaxy S24 Plus compared to the iQ 12. So this is uh, the Geekbench test of these two devices. So you can see uh, both are really powerful. What a differentiate uh, between these two devices is how optimized the One UI 6.1 is. That's definitely one of the achievements of Samsung's S24 series. Extremely responsive UI, even though the the processor is not as powerful as the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. So that was the speed test comparison. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Do let us know what you guys think about uh, the new devices and which of these is your pick in terms of performance. So that's it for this video. This is Amra signing off. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.